I'm here right now with two members of Columbia's Quad Squad. All right, Poison Violet, that would be you. Mm -hmm. And tell me your name again. Holly Hunter. Holly mm -hmm. Hunter. Scary, scary. Uh, derby names are my favorite, first of all. <laughs> Welcome uh, to the station. So I was just taking a look at that. I learned a lot because it's kind of confusing as to how the game works. Now, I got a question for you. How scary is it? Because I'm really wanting to be a derby girl. And then there's the fear part of me that says, you don't have the dental insurance to be a derby girl. What is it really, really like when you're in there? Well, being one of the newer people on the team, it's scary at first only because it's something new but honestly once you get out there the main thing that they've done with us is teach us how to play the game safely from how to fall how to take a hit correctly how to give a hit correctly and it just kind of takes the fear out of it and makes it fun okay my, my fear is still here that hasn't <laughs> left yet so i'm seeing all the elbowing and stuff how do you protect yourself from that i mean are these pads and your gear gonna gonna keep you safe and like injury free yeah this is what we you're required to wear in order so to say wrist safe. guards for falling wrist guards for falling you got elbow pads knee pads helmet and a mouth guard which i don't have in right now so i can talk <laughs> okay, let me ask you this, and you can be honest, it's okay, we're not going to scare anybody. Have you ever been hurt really bad? Like, have you gone down and, like, broken anything? I've never broken anything. The most I've had was a dislocated pinky, but I kind of relocated it at the same moment, so it was kind of okay, didn't have to get the doctor to do anything. They just okay. kind of checked it out and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> fixed her own pinky. That's you guys are tough girls. How about you? Any big spills? I've been in it five years, and I've fall all the time but no no big injuries so today. it's really not bad what are the age ranges that you see out there really participating I've seen up to probably 50 something years old Wow so, yeah. so this isn't as dangerous as it looks not if you do it correctly and if you wear the right you know gear okay how much fun is it on a scale of 1 to 10 10 11 11 <laughs> <laughs> I love it okay so you've taught us the basics you've taught us that it isn't exactly as scary as uh, it looks on TV and on the movies. Right. And next time we come back, we're going to talk about the good things that Derby is doing right here in the Midlands. And you guys have a bout coming up that everyone's invited to, right? Oh, yeah. This Saturday on the 25th, doors open at 4 o'clock. It is Columbia Quad Squad against the Low Country High Rollers. The first game will be the Bruise and Bettys against the Misbehavers. Okay. That game starts at 5. And at 7 o'clock, it's Columbia Quad Squad All-Stars against the Low Country High Roller All-Stars. All right. Well, I got a bunch of high school friends on that team. <laughs> We're going to be back with more. Stay with us, Columbia Quad Squad. We're going to learn more about what you do out there. You guys stay with us, too. We'll be right back. So I'm here right now with the Columbia Quad Squad, and they're helping me get over my fears. Ladies, thanks for coming. Thank you for having no us. So it was fun last time kind of getting to know the game. I've been to a few bouts. It's very exciting. It's very much of a kind of a rock and roll sport, so I'm glad you guys are here representing. Thank you. All right, let's talk about the bout this weekend. First and foremost, Low Country High Rollers. What kind of competition do you have with like other local leagues? Is it full on brutal battling? Or are you guys kind of friends? Mm, most of the time we're friends, but except when we're on the track, so. <laughs> that sounded a little brutal. I, I, I feel like you were saying friends, but your eyes were saying brutal. It's a little bit, but when we hit the track, we're all about the competitive sport, and no, no, there's, what stays on the track, or what's the saying? <laughs> what happens <laughs> what on, on the track stays, stays on the track. track. There you go. All right, so <laughs> you guys start taking them down, and you're not afraid to do so. And you got a bout coming up this weekend, and it's like two, two bouts in one. Is that what's going on, or is it three? It's a double header in the evening, and earlier in the day, the minis are playing. The minis are girls 10 to 17, and this is one right here. So you're one of our minis. How old are you, my dear? I'm 13. And your derby name is? Z-Dawn of Z-Dead. Z-Dawn of Z-Dead. you got to love the derby names. Now, are you guys also wearing, are fish, torn fishnet stockings like part of the uniform? It's not part of the uniform, more so it's actually something that we use for protection. Mm -hmm. If you tend to skate with shorts on, and think about the fact that you're skating on concrete. So when you hit that floor, you want to be able to slide without getting what a lot of people know as rink rash. Got you. So yeah, <laughs> putting the stockings on helps you slide right on across. Tell locals why they should come out and see a derby bout this weekend, especially if they've never seen one before. Stacy. Well, um, it was kind of close last year, the last time we played Low Country, so we're expecting a good bout and a good turnout and some hard-hitting action. It's kind of rowdy fun, and like I mentioned, it's pretty rock and roll out there. I mean, it's a good time. It really is. You guys have a benefit that you are going to be working with to raise some money for? Mm -hmm. It's the United Way. 
Fantastic. Um, we're getting uh, school supplies, so any kind of school supplies you can bring in at the door is, is good for our charity. Perfect. It's back to school season. And finally, we only got a few seconds left, but tryouts are coming up like what, next week or in the next couple weeks? They will be on September 6th, with it, which is a Thursday night at 6 o'clock. What eight, do girls... 8 o'clock. I'm eight sorry. 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of women are you looking for? Do, you, do they need to know how to skate already? Um, yeah, you need to be able to um, roll. We'll teach you a lot of the other stuff, but being able to roll and stop and do crossovers is, is a good thing. You're already ahead of the game if you, if you know how to do those things. And you'll take all ages. Any, anybody over 18. If you're under 18, talk to me about the minis. If you're over 18, come, come try out. It's a good time. And for tryouts, do you need all the gear, like the pads and the skates, or do you guys provide anything just to get them started? Yeah, you're going to need a helmet, mouth guard, elbow pads, wrist guards, knee pads, and of course, skates. And some speed. I understand you guys give a little endurance test too. 25 and 5. 25, 25 and laps five. in 5 minutes. All right. So get skating, get rolling. It's time. Thanks so much to the uh, Columbia Quad Squad for coming down. Good luck. I'll be rooting for you guys. Don't tell any of my friends, the Low Country <laughs> High Roller team, but I'll be shouting out to Columbia Quad Squad. You guys go out and check this out. It is a rocking good time.